Hey guys, today I'm gonna to show you how to make one of my favorite dinner party food, chicken pot pie. It's a classic dish that sometimes people can be a little bit intimidated by, but it's actually really easy to make at home. And the best part is it can all be made in advance. My kind of dish. We're first going to roast our chicken. So go ahead and take out a large rimmed cookie sheet, line it with some foil. That'll just help the pan clean up a lot easier after your chicken is roasted. Then you're gonna place a rack inside and then place the chicken breasts on top. Go ahead and roast for about 25 to 30 minutes just until the chicken is cooked through. While the chicken is roasting, you can go ahead and take out a large Dutch oven or a large soup pot, whatever you have. Go ahead and melt some butter. And then to that, you're going to add some onions, some carrots, and some leeks. Go ahead and saute the vegetables just until they become fork tender. And then you are going to add about a quarter cup of white wine. If you don't drink, that's okay. You could actually, at this point, just squeeze a little fresh lemon juice on your vegetables. You're just looking for a little acidity, and this is going to add great depth to our sauce. At this point, you're going to add about four cups of chicken broth. Then, to thicken our sauce, we're going to create what's called a slurry. A slurry is just basically some cornstarch thin with some water. This is going to help thicken our sauce. Now, if you can't find cornstarch, you also could use some flour. I do like the cornstarch a little bit better because I do find that it helps thicken up the stew just a little bit quicker. You're gonna go ahead and add your slurry, and then you're gonna bring your sauce to a boil for about one minute. At this point, you'll start to see your mixture will thicken up. Then you're going to add some white button mushrooms. You just wanna trim off the ends and cut them into quarters. And then you're also going to add one bay leaf. Go ahead and turn your heat down and let that simmer while we prep our chicken. For the chicken, you're going to remove the skin and then go ahead and cut the meat off the bone with two forks. You're just basically looking to shred it into bite-sized pieces. Then you're gonna add your chicken to the mixture along with some lemon zest, frozen peas, about one tablespoon of heavy cream, and some freshly chopped parsley. And then the final step is just to season with some salt and pepper. And then the mixture for our chicken pot pies is done. And the best part is all of this can be done the day before. So go ahead and just transfer your mixture into an airtight container and pop in the fridge until you're ready to serve. Then, when it comes time to serve, you're going to transfer your mixture back into your soup pop and heat it up on your stove top just until it's nice and warmed through. Then you're gonna ladle out into some soup bowls and then you're gonna top with some puffed pastry. Now, I really love to shop in some of those international supermarkets. I have one that's a Mediterranean food market right by my house, and they sell the puff pastry already cut into five by five squares. That is the perfect size for these little soup bowls that I have, because then I don't have to cut the puff pastry and it's all ready to go. The only thing you wanna keep in mind when choosing the bowl to use is to make sure that it's oven safe. Oftentimes on the bottom of the bowl, it'll say dishwasher, microwave, oven safe. That's important because you don't want your bowl to crack under the heat of the oven. Then we're gonna make an egg wash. We're gonna take one whole egg and mix it with about a teaspoon of water. Then with a pastry brush, we're going to brush our puff pastry with this egg wash and that'll help the puff pastry get a beautiful golden hue to it as it bakes. Now one tip when it comes to puff pastry is you always wanna make sure that you follow the directions on the back of the package for the temperature that it says to bake it at. Sometimes it can be 400, 425, 385 is the ones that I get at the international market. So you really wanna check because you don't want your puff pastry to burn. So you wanna go ahead and bake your pot pies just until the puff pastry puffs up and turns a nice beautiful golden brown. Then go ahead and take them out of the oven. And because these vessels are so hot, I do like to transfer them to a serving plate. And when your guests see that you made homemade pot pie in their honor, they will be completely impressed, I promise. I love this dish because it's so delicious, it's hearty, and it's so elegant. And it can all be made the day before. I hope you guys give this one a try and let me know what you think. I think you'll find that these will be a big hit at your next gathering. Until next time.